Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. Game 3, I guess. I mean... Maybe. Uh... Best of 3? Best of 5? I don't know. Let's just say this is a best of 5. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it's a best of 5. I mean, the previous series was best of 3, and that ended with 2-1, but this is still 2-0 and we're still having a game 3 so let's just assume this is best of 5 even though this is the round of uh, the round the best of 4 players in the YSL um, so yeah not looking forward to this one because it's at least 20 minutes or at least that's what I think judging by the file size I mean I generally dislike minimum 20 minute games cuz damn I have to talk for 20 minutes I'm missing like I mean I could be watching anime or playing video games but instead I have to cast video games for you guys um, yeah I might just spam anime for a very long lengthy time before casting the next series but who knows are under anyway back to this topic even though I do want to bring the topic of anime during my casts frequently um, I do understand that there are some people that who do like video games but don't generally gel well with uh, Japanese animation so I will res I will refrain myself from talking too much about it Anyway, alright, back to this one. Uh, we have Envy spawning in as the uh, uh, red human player on the top left. Once again, going for an Archmage. And his opponent is going to be the blue Night Elf player um, under the name of Shishi. Almost have a sneeze coming through, but let's just uh, let's just tank through it. Um, is going to be spawning in as the blue Night Elf, as I said before, and he is uh, going Beastmaster first. So, I mean, if it doesn't work once, uh, do it again, I guess. Okay, I muted my mic for that. I did actually sneeze. Um, so yeah, uh, Beastmaster first. It's going to be interesting. See how he performs in this game. Uh, the map is going to be on Twisted Meadows. It's almost been a while since we had this map I'm trying to look and yeah I actually can confirm that this has been a very long time since Twisted Meadows has appeared the, the most recent one was Elegant First Fly and that was during the qualifiers so yeah like I said before um, interested to see how well this will turn out I mean the first game um, it didn't prove successful for Shishi but you know we can't just assume that Beastmaster first was a guaranteed win. It's just, it's just different. Oh, it's just a different playstyle. Uh, but at the same time, it's also, um, it's also possible to win. Uh, this footman is running away with very, very far distances. Cool beast has woken up the, the creep, so footman will die. All right. Anyway. Um, early hunters hall, so that might be indicating huntresses, and we are gonna say uh, we are gonna see huntresses coming out. Double ancient of war as well, so um, very very much uh, focusing on early hunters play. Interesting that the beastmaster was picked first because um, he doesn't necessarily offer uh, much cohesion. Is that cohesion? Or chemistry with uh, Huntresses. All he does is like bring in uh, more more units in order to deal more damage. He doesn't he doesn't necessarily like set up anything for those Huntresses. Unlike like a Naga Sea Witch, who uh, can slow opponent uh, opposing units, or like the, the 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 Keeper of the Grove who can entangle, or the Warden who can slow with Shadow Strike as well. So yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see. Um, the Beastmaster accompany, accompanying the Huntresses. 
Either way, Beastmaster took a lot of damage, and fortunately enough, uh, is not the main focus of Enfi. The Huntresses are actually um, being focused down by the Archmage, but thankfully none has yet to die. This one looks like it's about, about to die, but it can melt to the shadows. I don't know why Dustburn's going to be used, so that's uh, false hope right there. At least it did force Envy to use a dust, so um, big plus right there. Unfortunately, Huntresses. I don't know why those Huntresses were over there, because they just got themselves trapped. For no reason whatsoever. And the level 3 on the Archmage compared to halfway level. or halfway to level 3 for the Beastmaster, Shishi is going to be forced to TP out because that was too much damage for him. Yeah, that's not good. Um, not only did you lose a bunch of Huntresses, um, use the TP as well, but I mean, you can't do much to prevent the impending expansion anymore. I mean, sure, we do have a couple of Huntresses here, but uh, one's already got surrounded. That's not good. Dustbarren's going to be used to finish the job. Uh, Huntress for a footman, but that's not generally an even trade. Huntresses do cost a little more than those footmen do. And to be fairly honest, Shishi cannot afford to lose those units, because he is expanding on top of this. I mean, he could, he'll eventually be able to afford it, but just not now. Brutes of Speed might be picked up, or it might be consumables, maybe a TP staff. It is going to be a TP staff. Uh, okay, that's going to be a little passive for both players. Um, the Tree of Life has been spotted by Envy. I guess it was pretty good sense that uh, Shishi was going to go for an expand. I uh, can't really see how the Beastmaster can fend off against uh, possible double elementals as well as a level 3 Archmage if he TP it in. So he is going to be forced to cancel that. Uh, tree of Life, and just continue creeping on. He is very close to level three. Will he go for cruel, uh, Frenzy Beasts or will he go for Thunderhawks? Uh, we have yet to see, but hopefully we'll see soon. Uh, Fluid of Accuracy has been picked up, so that is going to be pretty good. Um, you don't, or at least halfway good as well, since bears do actually not benefit from that aura. But we do have the Thunderhawk at level three, so. Um, those footmen a bit of run for it because there is not much they can do against that. However, the Elementals and the Archmage can. Tree of Ages were the main focus of the Archmage and Elemental. Almost smart. Well, it is smart, but unfortunately not enough units to actually finish the job. Um, I believe I do remember a game, maybe it was recent, uh, where the the main town hall was being uh, focused down. Obviously, it's the Tree of Ages or Tree of Life for Night Elf, but, you know, generally people call it Town Hall anyway. Um, and, like, that was pretty devastating. I don't remember if it revealed the player or not, but... Um, either way, um, that happened, I swear. Um, Ancient of Lore placed down. That is going to be the first of possible two. Um, but so far... All we're doing is just replacing wisps, and a lot of us actually drew, actually died um, during that previous attack. Okay, very very far and seclu a secluded uh, ancient of lore placed on over here, but it is it's smart at least it's smart because I mean it's most likely not going to be scouted. As I say that, there's a scout farm over there that's very, very close. Okay, will I be corrected instantly? I don't know. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Archmage is just going to TP back home. Purchase uh, whatever items he needed. He needs Clarity Potion. Uh, Regen Scroll. What's that? Line on the Stormwind. That's probably a common trend for human players anyway. Um, 
Okay, uh, Devotion Aura is going to be applied to the nearby footman. We have a tree of, a uh, tree of Life actually moving to the top gold mine. This is generally a risky play because it is closer to your opponent. But to be fair, I mean, like, it's not like the other gold mine is far away from your own base. Uh, let's just skip ahead. Um, Fear of Life is being focused down by the footman. I'm not sure if that's a smart decision from Enfi. I think she should just deal uh, with the surrounding units first. I mean, those hunters are eventually going to do a lot of damage because their bouncing glaives are really damn hurt. Wisp are coming over to heal up the Tree of Life. Will we see the Beastmaster bringing out another Thunderhawk? No, we're just going to see another Frenzy Beast uh, popping out. I mean, Frenzy Beasts do a lot of damage, but uh, Thunderhawks are chosen generally because of their flying, uh, their ability to fly, and of course, the magic damage that they deal. I'm not sure, I don't remember the exact numbers on the Thunderhawks damage. Oh, Goblin Sapper has been hired up. Um, Enfi definitely taking advantage of the of the map resources. Goblin Sapper, what? How much damage are you going to deal? Are you actually going to damage the Order Elemental? You are going to do that, but it dealt a lot of damage to the Tree of Life. Uh, I guess it was kind of worth it. Alright, level 4 Archmage versus level 5 Beastmaster. That's actually pretty significant. Uh, we did have a second Sapper attempting to blow up that Tree of Life, but it was stopped by the Huntresses and Dryads. Anyway, to my point, pretty significant that the Beastmaster is at level 5 because that either ends up being a Spirit Hawk or a uh, Raging Quill Beast. And, I mean, both options are pretty pretty hurtful um, yeah I'm actually eager to see another sapper attempt but sappers do have cooldown so yeah you gotta wait for that one uh, it does look like that the Beastmaster is refraining from going level 6 I guess that's, that's just because actually that I mean the fact of the matter is you can't actually get experience from creeps if you're level 5 so yeah Makes sense. So Panda is going to try and ramp up as quickly as possible. I mean, he's already at level 2 um, after one camp. I mean, like, maybe this mercenary camp and then he'll, he will definitely get level 3 and then he'll start to actually become impactful. But for now, it looks like... Oh, they're going for this camp instead. Alright, equally the same. Huntress is actually going to suicide herself. Um, maybe just free up some supply. Or maybe it was just a misplay. Who knows? Either way, the Beastmaster, is he still chasing the Archmage? Doesn't look like it, but... Um, oh, Beastmaster is actually back at base, trying to defend the main uh, the main Wisps. Mountain King second uh, for Enfi. Maybe pick up a TP Staff himself. Nope, just boost his speed and an invulnerability potion for 7 seconds. Oh, Mountain King. Uh, Good day to you, Beastmaster, but the Beastmaster doesn't actually have a good day. He is going to summon a Raging Quill Beast. Okay, so it's going to be the level 3 Quill Beast. Oh my, a lot of towers. That is... Once again evil. Uh, sad that we have no Sapper attempts yet again, but... I mean, the Tree of Life's are... The Tree of Life is pretty much repaired to full health, so um, it needs two, I th I'm pretty sure two is enough to take it down, but it might be three. Oh well, we shall see. Oh, Ancient Lore has been spotted, so it will maybe be taken down. Uh, no, that's not going to be the case. Infi is not going to waste his time on that. I mean, he could have brought the... Uh, the creep camp over from the mercenary camp, but uh, that's not going to be the case. Mountain King is a little caught out. He needs to be extra vigilant because he has no way of escaping 
In front of you, the potion, yeah, sure, but that is just for seven seconds. Huntresses can still um, path the Mountain King. Uh, that's not going to happen, though. I mean, Mountain King boost speed is pretty fast. Uh, Star Preservation on a Dryad, so we'll be able to dispel the Elemental at least uh, by enough time for Huntresses and Dryads or alike to come back to base and maybe fend this off. Okay. Well Springs. Very good. Uh, well Springs, as you can see, as you can read over here, increases their capacity to uh, 425. Uh, I think. I don't remember. But, of course, as well as 52% 52, 52 increase your regeneration rate. So that is pretty useful. Especially in the later stages of the game where, like, um, trading, exchanging damage, and then, like, instantly TPing back home, and then, like, like, hunt, like, in one second, heal up your entire army again. That's pretty useful. Um, lots of towers for Envy. This is the Envy we know. Um, and love. He is going for a second base. Pretty risky, but he he does have um, a Paladin out. So that indicates TA3. We have Castle Tick available. And that possibly indicates a desire to transition into a better composition. Beastmaster is very, very da uh, endangered right now. Would not risk a TP staff out because that could imply or that could result in like bash proc to cancel that one. Siege engines really, really envy. You're gonna go the Yumiko route. Um, well, this is a rather really, really like evil thing to do. A cruel way t to attempt to win this game. Uh, siege engines take extremely, extremely amount, of, uh, long time to actually take down, but they do a crap ton of damage to buildings. So. Um, yeah, I guess that's what Castle takes for. It's just for those siege engines. <sighs> Griffins, okay. Uh, that's a more civilized uh, army composition, I guess. Maybe. Or Griffins and siege tanks. Ooh, damn, then. Uh, then uh, Shishi has it coming for him. Uh, this camp is taking a little longer than expected to be taken down, but oh well, doesn't matter. It's going to provide the Paladin and Mountain King level 2. We have a Knight out. He does have the Animal Wall trading, so like 15 health away from like 1000 HP. That's pretty significant, especially with his um, armor. Okay, more more towers. We need more towers, but the Panda's coming to ruin the day because he has... Breath of Fire, that is really, really... I would say really bad for Enfy, but as of now, he has like high-tech units. Let's see how this will turn out. Level 3 Elementals as well, don't forget that. Um, but so far, not many units for Enfy over here. He only has a Knight and his three heroes, while Shishi has his two heroes as well as like double bears, double, dry, uh, double Huntresses. Plus these guard towers are going to fall eventually, but the panda doesn't have en enough mana for a second one. Well, he does now, thanks to his uh, Sobi mask, and of course he does have a one of mana stealing. TB score is going to be used on the mana king. He was just used for the, I mean, just trying to stay alive. Brother Fire will be coming in once again, and it will bring the mana king very, very low. Paladin's going to be. Um, healing up with the Holy Light and the Panda needs to be a little more careful. TP Scroll uh, is available, but no! What? Where's the TP Scroll? What? Okay, TP Scroll wasn't used, but the Mountain King might fall in exchange for the Panda's life. Beastmaster is going to run away with the Boots of Speed. Rejuvenation is going to be used with no risk at all because there is no Spellbreakers at all in the battlefield. Um, actually, surprisingly enough, we don't actually have double Sanctums this game. Beastmaster is going to be taken down, and that will most likely be GG. And yeah, like, Infi winning this series without double Arcane Sanctums. That is pretty good. Anyway, hope the guys have enjoyed, enjoyed this best of five. Air quotes, I'm pretty sure this is best of five. Because there is no way in hell, like, 
a single player can win three games in a best of three because it ends at two. Um, either way, next series is going to be uh, a best of five between Yumiko versus Tho. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys there and take care.